Hello, my YouTube friends, once again. Just uh, making a short video to share some stuff with you about these deals. Now, I picked up this deal right here. It's very new. I think it came out in 210. The specs is for 210. The box, this box has a date for 2012. It says, I don't know if you can see it. But right here, it says, Old 12, 12, old, old, old 2, 12. Old 2, 12, this box was made, the box. Now these are the fairly uh, new, 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 uh, new Dell Windows 7 uh, desktops. This is a 570. I have another one there on the floor. See right there. Now when I picked it up, this one the hard drive was, the hard drive was just had an infection in it. That's why I switched the hard drive. Everything is fine. This one, when I picked it up, it must have had an infection in the DVD drive because it co it won't install the system. I tried to, because I have a I have a restore CD for Dell new fairly new desktops, and um, I downloaded the the the, the DVD and it, and it activated Windows by itself. I didn't even have to put in the product key. From the computer, from the from from the desktop. Anyway, to make a long story short, it was giving me a hard time. I was about ready to give up. And I and I and I Google some YouTube videos and 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 some guy said to just keep on plugging stuff, you know, and and, and see what happens. So I unplugged the RAM. Nothing happened. It was making like beeps. It was making like RAM beeps. It wasn't it wasn't the RAM. But it was telling me something wasn't wasn't configured right. So when I disconnected the DVD drive from the data cable and 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 and, uh, and, uh, the power cable, everything everything she started working just fine. Everything started downloading. Everything, so I put in a new DVD drive. It was uh, uh, wrong. I installed the system. I took the, the the old DVD ROM that it had out. I opened it up with a long, a long Q-tips and some 99 90 90 percent alcohol, and I cleaned the eye. Now I don't know. I put it back and it's working fine. It's working better than 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 than, than the one that I that's newer than the, that's fairly much newer than this one. But these are cheap computers. I don't see no Dell logos inside of it. See, they're making these a dime a dozen in China, and they're selling them here like for 400, 450. I seen one of for 450, just with just with the mouse and the keyboard. No, and nothing else. Now, I don't see no logos. You see any logos in there? For Dell, there's no Dell logos in there whatsoever. It has a it has a dual core, Athlon dual core. A 250 chip running on three a 3.0 gigahertz. Uh, it's a good chip, but you just can't do any. You can't do really do no gaming with it. It has hardly no catching in it. So anyway, to make a long story short, the computer's working fine, and these computers are pretty. They're pretty nice looking, and they come in all different colors. See? Now I don't see anything inside. That says Dell. No Dell logo. The motherboard, the power supply, nothing. Nothing in. It works fine though. No, no, don't don't kid yourself with those Avalons. But those are all chips. The Avalon chips. I think they're on 40 nanometer. But it has a video card that's running on uh, 30 nanometer or 22 nanometer. 
uh, architecture. Anyway, to make a long story short, that's all I wanted to share is that I don't see any Dell logos in here. I don't see any anything that says, all I see is made in China. Now, people are having, I know people are having a lot of troubles with these, with these, com with these computers. That's why they, 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 they're selling them cheap because if you take them to fix, they charge you $200 minimum. So they figure with another hundred dollars, I can get me a better computer. You know, but sometimes it's hard to get those hundred dollars. Now when they come to me, I fix them. I put them nice. I put them new. I put new thermal paste. This guy was trying to uh, mess with the computer where uh, where I bought it at. He had it on a shopping cart. He had it hooked up to everything, and he stood there like for like an hour trying to. Um, I guess he was trying to restore it. So he's, he told me that it kept shutting off, that it was overheating, that this, it wasn't overheating. There was a bug inside the disk. There was a bug inside the whole computer. But if you try to load a system in there, you couldn't do it because there was a bug inside the CD-ROM. The CD-ROM is working fine. There had to be a big, big bug in there. So anyway, to make a long story short, I, I hooked up the computer. It was working fine. Eh? I want to take that um, the Dell official side out of there. I'll take that out of there and replace it with Microsoft, Bing, and Dell and 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 Google. Those are my main browser. Uh, Google's my main browser, and then uh, Microsoft and Bing. But I like Microsoft on my on my on my uh, PC. I don't like Google or browser. The Google uh, Google Chrome, I, I don't like the way it looks. I never liked it that. I never I never liked it. But I like Google. That's my main browser. I love Google. I love. It. I got YouTube. Everything all in there. Everything is fine. Have a nice day, folks. Let me see some. See? Nah. I put Roxy O'Burner in there. Roxy O'Burner. See? Burn, copy, do all, all this. Pro, this the, 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 the pro version. Now, I also put Microsoft Office Word 2013. Eh? Nice, huh? All that good stuff in there. Told me to sign in. Don't ask me later. Just recommend the settings, okay, I accept. <coughs> Alright. It's a nice, this nice, o office is nice, I like it. I like this one. Now next. Welcome to your modern office. It's always been connected to your computer, but now it's also connected to the cloud, which means it's connected to you. When you signed in, your themes, settings, and documents are there, even on different devices. So your files are always waiting for you, at home, at work, wherever you happen to be. Just sign in, and it's your brand new office, just the way you like it. Ready to get started? Go get a Microsoft. Maybe later. I have an account with them. They give me a hard time every time I try to get into my account. They want to ask all these security questions. I give it to them and they keep asking me the same one. So I just finally gave up. I gave them the phone number. I gave them everything. I gave them my, my, my email. I don't know what else they want. They can't have me no more. They can't have my skin. <laughs>